Hey, Adam. Um, when you look back on this year for yourself, uh, I know you wanted to make strides coming in here. Felt like you made those eventually, but it was it was kind of a it was a tough start, wasn't it? Uh, it how, how are you looking at this year for yourself? Yeah, it was a it was it was a tough start, especially you know first three games and then held the scratch and then coming back first game back broke my foot out for nine weeks so it was it was tough but I think more as more consistent I played throughout the year I think I I grew uh, especially defensively and uh, you know playing more minutes and stuff like that so but obviously it was a it was a tough year uh, mentally and and stuff like that so you know it's it's nice to put this away now and and look on the on the look forward for for the next year in the defensive zone uh, specifically where do you think you made the most strides uh in in defending was it like stick checks or, or things like that or just contesting the puck yeah i think uh yeah especially like uh, going out to battles at the walls and stuff like that you know being more aggressive, uh, I th me and me and Lars and Mac had a lot of meetings about that, especially when I was I was scratched and hurt. Uh, you know about being more involved in the D zone, and you know that's gonna create more off offense as well. So I think I did uh, a few strides in that, but I think you know I can I can be better at that as well. You know, limit more goals and stuff like that. So. We talked about uh, um, opportunity in this season with so many injuries. It created a lot of opportunities for a number of different people. One of them was you with uh, the top power play unit. It seemed like you really kind of grew into that role. I mean, how, how much better did you feel at the end of the season, you know, in that role of, of the quarterback of the of the top power play? Yeah, I would say it's it's nice to be on the on the top unit. Uh, you know. Uh, in Chicago, I was I was playing with Kaner on the top unit in my second year, so it, it helps uh, the confidence, you know, especially if you get a goal uh, and feel good, good about yourself and stuff like that. But you know, obviously, when you're playing with Patty and Johnny, Booner, Marchi, Rosie, who's ever in there, uh, it's it's easy because it's such a good players, uh, you know, it's it's easy to read off them and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it was fun to to play with him this year for sure in the, in the unit. Adam, you just made reference to him, Steve McCarthy. Can you just talk about the impact that he's had, not only on yourself, but as the overall team? It seems like he's gotten a lot of positive feedback from you guys. Yeah, for sure. I think he, he's a, he understands uh, the players really well, you know, when, when to be hard on guys and when to be, you know, like have fun and stuff like that and I think that really helps that gets you more you know comfortable and uh, loose and like play with less like pressure on the shoulders and stuff like that and he especially this year he's been he's been really good to me and I think yeah the rest of of the team as well so yeah yeah he was uh, uh he was good he's good I mean mm -hmm. And also, um, Zach Wierenski was in here earlier. He missed most of the season, of course. But a question about um, maybe someone to play with him on the right side. Is that a goal of yours? Is that something you feel like that you can get to overall in your game? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, this is going to be a big summer for me because uh, I feel like I took, uh, took some strides uh, past summer, and especially conditioning and stuff like that. Now it, just gonna build up uh, more strengthening in my upper body and stuff like that, and especially this year, uh, starting off there, I was starting with Zach, and I think that's something I can I can do too, and uh, you know help him to be a better player, and he, you know, obviously he's a great player, so he can help me too uh, be a better player, be a better player. So uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to a good summer. Um, Adam, you have a, a unique perspective having a brother who's on uh, one of the top up-and-coming young teams in the NHL uh, with the Devils there. Uh, is, has, was that, has that allowed you, like, kind of seeing what they've done, uh, where they've come from as well with young talent, to kind of look at your own talent and say, hey, we got a lot of young guys here and, and maybe we can do that 
that same thing as well? Yeah, for sure. Especially watching almost every game they play, if we don't play. And especially when I was hurt, I was watching yeah, every game. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun watching them, with how they play with a lot of speed, a lot of offense, and, and they're good defensively too. And, you know, they're playing Rangers now in the first round, and I think they swept them this year as well. So it's going to be a good matchup for them. And I'm happy for my brother, you know, this year he's been been up the whole year and been playing in a really good team so uh, it's going to be exciting to watch them in the playoffs and uh, yeah. yeah. Was that motivating for you to have a brother who was you know on a successful team and succeeding as well? Just yeah. from a brother thing? Yeah like, for you, sure. You want to play well yeah for sure. Obviously you want to be you want to switch spot with him right now <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah it's it's kind of and, and I'm so happy for him you know. Uh, He's he's been you know dealing with AHL NHL and then now and he's he's doing good so I'm, I'm happy for him. Yeah, you made reference to it earlier about your, the summer ahead for you. What do you feel like is the biggest thing that you need to accomplish this summer to deem it a success for you? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing for me is you know be be healthy uh, for for the up- upcoming season. Play 82 games. I haven't done it yet, and that's what I want to do because I feel like uh, I could help the team more uh, if I play it in two games, and especially having a long summer here, I think it could be helpful, uh, you know, getting strength and get my conditioning where it should be and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, you know, go home and uh, get the summer starting. So you said the word here or there. Are you going home for the summer? Are you going to be here at all? Some of the time. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm going back to Sweden on Monday, and then I'm coming back here uh, in like start of August, staying here. So yeah, it's it's nice to go home and get a little break and see family and friends. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. From a team standpoint, obviously, you know, season you never want to go through something like this, but you know the. You'd rather be winning, but there are lessons you can take from adversity and the things that have happened this season. I mean, are there a lot of things you feel like you've learned this year that you can apply going forward about how to handle these types of situations? It'll be, you don't want to go through them, but you've got to be able to at least take something from from what happened? Yeah, for sure. I think especially a young group like this, uh, if you if you do it the right way, I think you can build on it. Uh, and I think that's what, what we need here, you know, especially we're having a, yeah, great players coming up from, you know, Cleveland or, you know, prospects. So it's, it's, a, it's exciting and, you know, it's, but yeah, obviously it was a tough year. So if you, if you do it the right way, I think you can grow out it uh, a lot. How tough was it to hear the news about Brad Larson today? Obviously, it was tough. Uh, I think he he helped me, especially from coming from Chicago. Uh, he helped me uh, get my mindset uh, different uh, from Chicago and really, um, you know, like strengthening and playing good D zone and stuff like that. And yeah, obviously, it happens in hockey. It's it's business, and you know, uh, yeah. Is it too soon to have you guys? I mean, our, our players. I'm sure you've seen some of them. You guys thinking about like who's who's next? Uh, you know, is there uncertainty in your mind about like what what kind of coach they're going to bring in here? Yeah, no, I'm not too worried about that. I think uh, you know the guys uh, upstairs or general those guys uh, know what we need, and uh, you know. We'll leave it at that, and then we can just go out there and do our work, and you know, yeah, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you.